As an openly gay uh, doctor in Charlotte, I've always had a few transgender patients come in and into my practice, but it was never a, a large focus. And then about eight years ago, a psychologist in town who's a good friend of mine, I'd been on a couple of uh, nonprofit boards with her, she had, a, she had a practice that was exclusively transgender, and she was discussing the problems and the difficulty, difficulty she had finding doctors in Charlotte who had pre prescribed hormone therapy for her patients, and that they were traveling long distances to get their care. And so she challenged me, why am I not doing more? Started taking patients and realized uh, it was something that family medicine, primary care, can totally do, can totally feel competent about. Our community is a, is a small community, and before you really seek care, we have um, a, a pretty good support group. It's not a, a, a well-known group because we're a small sliver of society, the facts be told, but, but we do communicate with each other. And Dr. Brown's name kept coming up and coming up as one of you know, many doctors that you know, I've, I've heard names of. But from people who I trust, I'm listening to um, their suggestion to go at least talk to him. This is a very primary care friendly, primary care needed field that transgender care is primary care. So my skill set as primary care readily transferred to the care of transgender patients. When you can have somebody who's got that willingness to go that extra step without you having to push and prod and say, well, hey, you know, this is the way it's supposed to be. No, it was very much listen. And every time I came back, if, if there was a question, he would respond. We have someone good in our community, and that's real. And when you have that, you will support that until we will fight for that, if we ever had to. Let's just leave it at that. He is a gem. He's not allowed to retire, ever.